Hello and uh, welcome uh, to Pilgrim Ranch. Um, one of the most misunderstood concepts in um, rearing and dealing on Boa and Kalahari rate goats is the issue of pricing. Pricing. Now, uh, when some people hear, you know, about the prices of these goats, they say only goat is even more expensive than cow. And so I want to I want to help you understand the, the prices um, of these goats. The price of the goat is actually dependent on the class of goats that you are buying. And generally speaking, there are four classes of goats. There are four classes of goats. Class one goats are what we call the pedigree or stock goats. Pedigree goats are goats that. Um, you receive a pedigree certificate to um, the fourth, fifth generation that shows the lineage, the genetic lineage of that goat. They are the best and the most expensive um, class of goats. They are usually registered in stud books um, of the association in the particular country um, those goats um, are from. These goats, during auctions, can attend very high amounts of uh, money. The most expensive I've seen such goat sold, that was a boa goat that was sold for $53,000. That's more than 30 million naira for just one goat, all right? Now, um, if you are buying from, from um, breeders, you may probably get such goats for about 3 million, maybe a little more, um, if they are of good quality. Uh, whether it's the male um, or the female. Now, the second class of goods are what is called the commercial class goods. Now, for breeders, these first two classes are the best. That is the pedigree class, class one, and then the commercial class, class two. Commercial class goods are also goods of very good quality, almost of um, pedigree uh, quality, or you do not receive a pedigree certificate for them. And these goods, you can get them for between 2 and maybe 2.53 million um, uh, goods. Now, the third class of goods are what are called field goods. Now, field goods are goods that are, um, you know, they, they roam around. And you cannot actually say um, the genetic lineage of these goods because, you know, they mate, you know, amongst themselves. There is no... Uh, records kept about who is the sire or the father of a particular um, uh, kid and it is not unusual sometimes that you may have inbreeding happening among such goods because they are all together now this is not the best class of goods to use for um, a breeder stock many people do that because they are a lot cheaper you can get them for about a million maybe a million four hundred thousand maybe a little less all right and they don't usually grow as big as um, class one and class two um, uh, goods and then the final class of goods the class four are what i would call um, goods called c-u-l-l -L, from the, the herd for one defect or the other it could be they are bad parents it could be they have a physical defect it could be and um, they are too old one reason or the other and these goats are not good for breeding at all. Um, they are at best good for, for slaughter as meat. And these goats, you can get them for as cheap as maybe 200, 300,000. Um, now, maybe in another video, I will talk about the, the uh, economic or financial aspect of um, having these goats. Because when you pay for a goat, uh, say 3 million naira, um, how are you going to recoup your money? How are you going to make your money? In another video, we'll be talking about the economic aspect of breeding Boa and Kalahari red goods. Once again, my name is John Abraham Godson. I'm the owner of Pilgrim Ranch Limited, and I'm the president of Boa and Kalahari Red Goods Breeders Association of Nigeria. Thank you. Bye-bye.